There was a moment on the, the L train, and I saw seven people, the same bottle of kombucha, all coming from the West Coast. And at that moment, I said, New York City needs their own kombucha. My name is Eric Childs. They call me Kombucha Man. I'm the founder and CEO of Kombucha Brooklyn. We are in the Kombucha Lab and Learning Center in the old Pfizer building. Sure, uh, kombucha brewing is easy. Uh, all it is is setting up an environment uh, and letting it sit. The kombucha scoby or the culture of the mother really does all the work. Uh, so you as a brewer are making a big batch of tea. Uh, tea that then sweetened with sugar uh, and acidified with already brewed kombucha. That newt, nutrient solution, uh, is put into a fermentation vessel um, and inoculated with this living culture of bacteria and yeast. Um, so once put in the right temperature zone, over a course of about a week, depending on how you like it, uh, that culture eats and consumes all the nutrients uh, and changes it into things like amino acids and vitamins um, and creates these probiotics that are really good for our system. Um, and one of the most interesting processes is that while doing this change, um, it is giving birth or creating a new SCOBY on the surface of your brew. So at the end of a batch cycle, you get whatever amount of kombucha you are brewing as well as a new next culture that you take into your next batch. 2010, when we, we had introduced to the public, we had a year of sales behind our, our back and the demand was strong. We went out to raise some money and attempt to build our first Brooklyn-based brewery. We love manufacturing in the city. Uh, we love showing people that it's possible to do. We love the community that we're a part of. I think everybody in the, the, the local manufacturing scene here in the city all has a sense of, of, of struggle and strife that we all get through, and so there's a lot of camaraderie. And New York City has really brought us all the, uh, the things that that we love. It's, it has helped the company succeed in the ways that I think having a company out of the city um, uh, doesn't allow you to. The other month, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was filmed in this building, on this floor, in the, in the, the hall right across from mine. So all sorts of people were walking by that were both strategic um, and just exciting to have uh, uh, around your business. That's not, that's not going to exist if I live you know, uh, in the middle of, of, of the woods somewhere. That happens here in Brooklyn. The world funnels through New York City. And if you have a, a permanent infrastructure here, whether you're just soaking up the energy of that or the actual byproduct of it, you're soaking in something. Um, and that empowers us all to do better things.